My name is Eric Small. This video is one of a set of short tutorials directed towards the new Cinema 4D user. These tutorials will be brief overviews of various aspects and concepts within the software. In this overview, I want to talk about splines. If we open up the spline menu, you see here that we have many preset spline shapes that we can use uh, within our scene, or we can use one of these tools over here to draw our own spline as we would as we wish. By using the spline spline pen tool we can click in the viewport and we can make any shape that we want with our spline once completed hit the escape key and now we have this spline however this spline will not render this spline will not show up uh, in in anything that we would render we cannot apply a material to it with the exception of a hair material in order to get this to show up in the render, what we need to do is we need to couple the spline with a spline generator here, such as a sweep nerb. So with the sweep, if we create this, nothing immediately happens. That's because we need to create a profile for this sweep to take effect. So if we create another, uh, create a circle, We'll shrink this down a little bit right now and we'll place the circle and the sweep or and the spline beneath the sweep object instantly this is not looking correct because we have these in the wrong order we need the profile spline to be on top and now we can see that we've got a tube going along the path that we had just created with the spline tool we can control the radius of this by adjusting the radius of the circle and as opposed to using a circle for the profile we could use a square and we'll have to place that beneath the sweep and above the spline path that we chose that we created and now we have the ability to change the parameters of the square if we want to make it a little bit narrower to get rid of the pinching that was going on right there and also we have the ability if we want to round that off Splines can be utilized in many different places within Cinema 4D, from dynamics to MoGraph to just in modeling, which we have demonstrated here by using a sweep. We also have the ability to do a lathe. If we go into, we'll create an arc, just a simple arc spline here. And if we then create a lathe object and we drop the arc as a child of the lathe we now see that we've got this hemisphere shape and that's because the angle of the lathe is set to 360 degrees if we reduce that we can see now that we've got this geometry that is rotating around the world origin around the arc spline that we created in many there's many more things that can be done with splines and the different uh, tools that work on the splines in this menu right here.